What's going on, everybody? Vince Goodrum here. It is Monday evening. Just got back home from the gym. And the reason why I'm making this video is because a lot of people have been asking me about my opinion about this uh, Rob Louie guy. Apparently, uh, one of the gym owners came up to him while he was working out and said that uh, he was doing powerlifting and kicked him out for powerlifting. This has been making arounds, and I know you guys wanted to know what my opinion was, you know, and I'm more than happy to oblige. And here's the thing, and I checked it out, and this is pretty much cut and dry. This has nothing to do uh, with it being, and this wasn't a Planet Fitness. It was an independent uh, facility. It didn't have anything to do with uh, Rob Louie, and that's the name of the guy. I don't know him personally whatsoever, so uh, he appears to be a very strong person. I looked at a couple of other videos. He's up there. Dead, he can deadlift and squat like a motherfucker, you know. Uh, it didn't have anything to do with him squat, I mean, grunting or throwing around chalk or anything. There was no chalk. He wasn't grunting. He wasn't slamming down the weights. Simply put, and I'm just going to rephrase the same thing the owner's other brother uh, pretty much said is that his brother is an idiot. He's a fucking idiot. He's a head case. And apologize to Rob. But Rob had already went and found another gym, and I'm sure that his friends will come along with it, and because of all the, uh, the story, I mean, because of this story has actually got legs on it now, they're going to lose a couple of other mem They're going to lose a lot other members as well. That's what usually happens here. When things... Uh, get, I mean, get to the point where it's just spread around like wildfire, makes the gym look pretty bad. And, you know, it, it's good that the owner's brother, uh, you know, called and apologized and even openly admitted his brother is an idiot. But this brings me to another point. This is the reason why gyms should hire gym managers here, you know, people that are trained to not only handle memberships, but also to perform the operations of a gym, you know. Now, if the gym owner has that training and he has the experience, that's one thing. Uh, but, you know, I think this is a case to where, you know, the, you know, a lot of these local gyms, they'll get their family uh, in order to do the particular task. That happens in a lot of businesses, you know. Uh, independent pizza places, convenience stores, because family is cheaper, you know. You don't have to pay them the same wages as an actual regular person. And that can cost you money in the end, and I think this is uh, just the case. I'm not sure what kind of ownership, it, how much ownership that either one of the brothers had, but at the same time, this is exactly what you get for uh, having family, you know, uh, running the operations of a gym that... You know, you have no business being in to begin with. If you have a large gym or medium-sized gym, you need to have a gym manager. Just go ahead and kick out the freaking money because the benefit of it is, you know, you're going to increase your membership and you're going to avoid situations like this here. Then shit will get done, basically. You know? Obviously, this owner's brother doesn't know a damn thing about running a gym, obviously, you know, because number one, he doesn't even know what powerlifting is. That man was, you know, Rob, he wasn't even powerlifting, you know, I wasn't powerlifting. He's just a strong guy. He had a lot of weights up there, you know, he wasn't using any chalk. He wasn't slamming down the weights here. He didn't have a powerlifting suit on or anything like that, you know, I mean, he just had he had some shorts on and a t-shirt, you know. That's it. So, like I said before, if you're interested in purchasing a gym uh, or owning a gym, you know, you need to make sure that you have the proper employees needed. Don't automatically go to family just because it's cheap because, you know, honestly, family can seriously fuck up your business here, you know. I've seen this stuff happen all the time, and not just gyms, but also at mom and pop stores, convenience stores, and stuff like that. You know, when you hire a family, you know, you're pretty much asking for 
all sorts of things that occur because, you know, while you can not pay them as much at the same time, you know, uh, firing or get rid of someone in fa in the family, you know, it, it's, it's not the same as a regular employee there if they screw up, just saying. So that's my honest opinion about it. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's all I got to say on this matter. It's just cut and dry. I mean, dude's a fucking idiot, you know. His brother said so, and I and he went and apologized. That's the end of the story. There's nothing else to it, really. You know? It's not a black or white thing. It's just that dude was out of his league, and he doesn't know how to run a gym. Perhaps that brother should go and, you know, hire a gym owner. Take advice from the great one. But, yep, that's it. Uh, don't forget, people, to like and subscribe to the Vince Goodrum channel. If you like this video, smash that like button for a brother. Okay? Peace!